Hey everybody, it's Chad from Sticks Blog, Stick here. Uh, this morning I just want to do a quick little video and talk about gear list. Uh, now occasionally people will email me and ask me uh, about um, gear list, how can they go about making their own gear list or do I have a template they can use or could I recommend them uh, to different sites uh, that they can do that. And typically what I tell them is uh, that while there are other sites, um, that if they want to, to feel free to simply make a copy of one of my gear list if it's something that they would like. Uh, and then just uh, once they make a copy, you can go ahead and put your own information in and just kind of um, tailor it to suit your own needs. Like I said, there are sites out there that you can go in uh, and just simply uh, put in your uh, gear along with the weights uh, and then it'll create a nice little list and a little uh, chart and all this stuff for you. Um, however, I've always just used uh, what you see right here. Uh, and the reason being is when I first started making gear list, um, I didn't really know about any of those other sites, if they were even available. Uh, so I just simply opened up a Google Doc spreadsheet and got started. And over time, uh, my own personal gear list has just kind of refined itself. And now uh, I'm really happy with the result. Um, basically, it, it's configured. Uh, to meet my own needs. Uh, it's got the information that I want and how I want it in there. Uh, so for that reason, I choose to stick with my Google Docs uh, spreadsheets rather than using some of the other uh, available uh, gear list sites. Um, now I want to say too, the way I use mine is what I'll do is I, I make a, a spreadsheet for each hike I go on. Um, and what I do is I just make a copy of the most previous gear sheet, gear list that I have, and then I go in and I start making uh, corrections, not necessarily corrections, but I start tailoring it to suit uh, what I want out of this, the upcoming hike. Uh, so I may go in and add things or take away things uh, and stuff like that. Um, and it's uh, very simple uh, for not only me to do, but anybody else to do it. And for those of you that, like I say, are interested in uh, the way I have my gear sheet uh, set up um, my spreadsheet here. Uh, you're more than welcome to uh, to use it. I have no problem sharing that, uh, and it's a very easy thing to do. So I just want to show you real quick how to do it and a little bit about the actual spreadsheet. Um, first off, if you want to make a copy of my spreadsheet, you have to have a Google Doc account. There's no getting around that. Uh, chances are, if you've got a Gmail account, uh, you've got a Google Doc account because it's all uh, integrated. It's all Google. Uh, you just need to simply uh, pull up the Google Docs spreadsheet. Uh, but the first thing you have to do is make sure you're signed into Google Docs. You don't actually have to have a spreadsheet or anything like that open. Just make sure you're signed in. Uh, the next thing you need to do is just pull up any of my gear list. Um, if, if you're interested in doing this, you can just simply email me. Uh, you can get in touch with me on my blog or whatever or uh, post on this YouTube video and I'll try and get back in touch with you and I'll send you a link uh, to, to my most recent one. That way you can take it from there. Um, but all you do is pull up that spreadsheet, which is I've got right here, uh, and then you go up here to the file button. Click on file, go to make a copy. After you make a copy, uh, this little dialog box opens. All you can do uh, is enter the name for your new document, and you can call it whatever you want to call it because this is going to be your uh, document here. After you rename it, just hit OK, and it should open up another page here comes. So now you've got another page and you can see all this information is still the same but up here this is what's going to tell you that it's yours because it's renamed. Uh, if you don't like the name you can always click on it um, and rename it there uh, and just hit OK and it'll change the name. Uh, but once you're in this point uh, you can do whatever you want. You can change anything that you want uh, to make it yours because now this is your spreadsheet. Uh, you can start by clicking up here in this and changing the name of the uh, of this. Uh, just call it gear list if you want. All you do is type it in. Uh, as well, you can go through my uh, categories here and you can input your own information. Um, also, if you need more lines or less lines, uh, just simply click in there, go to insert, and you can add a row above or below it and that'll give you an extra line. Uh, if you don't want that row, make sure that row is highlighted. Um, you can go to edit and you can delete that row. Uh, as well, you can click over here, you can right click over here, and you can also delete the row there. Uh, and of course, you can also add or subtract rows from here too. 
Um, so anyway, that's how you do that. One thing I want to point out is that each of these categories up here in green, packed, carried, and worn, of course, the items in this list is going to be items that I, I put inside my pack. Uh, this list is going to be items that I carry, such as my trekking poles and other things. Uh, and then this item is going to, or this list is going to be items that I wear, such as my clothing right here. And the way that's figured up, if you'll look, uh, I've got that to be the sum of all these numbers here. I'm not sure why this is included. Uh, but anyway, I've got this this box right here is going to be the sum of all these numbers. So that's going to give me a total weight. So right there, that's 65.4 ounces for all these items. As well, I've got a sum for this row and a sum for that row there. And what that does is down here, not only does it give me a sum up here uh, so that I can say, okay, my clothing and uh, worn items is 65.4 ounces total, but down here, it gives me a grand total. So I've got my pack, which is going to correlate with the pack column. And you can see here, I've got a sum of each one of these categories. So whenever you make changes here, it'll make changes in the uh, subcategory there, but it's also going to change down here. And then this is, of course, your ounces here. Uh, and then this is pounds, as noted above. And all I did was just, uh, I just divided the, uh, the sum of this uh, box here by 16. Uh, but anyway, whenever you make a copy of this spreadsheet, all of these formulas are already going to be in there. Uh, so all you got to do is if your backpack weighs 30 ounces, just go in and put in 30 ounces, and you see it's changed that there, and I know you probably don't remember, but it's ultimately changed it down here. A good way to see it is you can hit the uh, back button up here, and there you go. It went back to my private, prior weight, so it's changed that. Um, now what I've done here is, of course, this is just my fuel. Uh, these are numbers that I actually have to plug in here. No formulas. The only formulas is here, dividing by 16 again to get a pound. Um, my food weight, um, actually I did have it connected to my food planner, but I've been messing around with my food planner and I've been lazy and I haven't updated it on this particular um, on this particular gear list sheet I have here in front of you. But normally the way it would work is these columns here, after I figured it up, uh, these columns here would be the sum over here, so that would give me a weight over there. So if I make any changes to my food planner list, uh, it would automatically correct it on this gear list uh, page. Ultimately, this gear list page is going to be the main site. Everything that you do here, uh, this is going to tell you your, your total main everything. Uh, and then, of course, down here at the bottom, I've got my total base pack weight, which is uh, basically this sum up here. I've got my pack weight with all my consumables, so it's this sum here plus all of my consumables. Uh, and then I've got a total skin out weight, which is um, everything. And then of course this gives me my pounds again. Also one other neat thing, like I said, some of those other sites will actually give you charts so that you can look at if you like charts. And what I've done here is I've made a chart. It's not as pretty, um, but it's a chart. And this basically tells you over here on the side, it tells each spot. If the spot is big enough, it'll actually list the percentages inside there like you can see there. Um, but what I've done here is each one of these sums are actually sums from the correlating uh, category on my gear list page. So if I'm making changes on my gear list page, it's also going to change these final numbers over here. Um, so you can always pull this chart up and look and see uh, what uh, percentage and just kind of get an idea of what you're carrying, how you carry it. Uh, but anyway guys, that's my uh, gear list. If you like it, like I said, feel free to uh, make a copy of it. Um, the only thing I ask in return is that, uh, you know, if the opportunity comes up, you know, somebody asks you about it, say, hey, yeah, you know, I got this from Stick. Uh, you know, just, that's all I'm asking for. Uh, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this and like I said, uh, feel free to use it. Change it, uh, get it, use it, change it, make it your own. Uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any more questions or any questions, just feel free to post them below and I'll do my best to answer those. And guys, I uh, hope it helps you out a lot. Talk to you later.